The Citrus Bowl is LSU and Purdue. LSU is a 14 and a half point favorite here. The total sits at 56 over at BetUS. This is a Monday, January 2nd game uh, later in the in the morning. I think it, it, this might be a noon game. Noon Central. I didn't write down the time like an idiot. It's on ABC. So check it out. Go watch it. Uh, let's pull up the numbers here. <laughs> Since week eight of the season, I would have LSU, and this is before we have Aiden O'Connell being out of this game, before Jeff Brom left, before uh, all the mayhem at Purdue. My numbers would have LSU favored by 15.76. That's insane. That's crazy. And yet here we are. So, I'll go ahead and tell you that I do like LSU uh, minus the 14 and a half here. I think they're going to be incredibly motivated. I don't think any any amount of Drew Brees being at this game as a quarterback coach or whatever is going to help Purdue in this situation. Uh, Purdue's defense is, is okay. Okay. Number 71 defensive PPA per drive since week eight. Um, they are number 50 PPA per pass. Uh, they are number... Number 80, PPA per rush, and I think that that's where LSU is going to be able to take advantage. Uh, Jaden Daniels, yeah, I know that he was hurt a little bit during the SEC championship game. I think he'll be back healthy for this one. Uh, this is a program builder. Like, it's a moment, uh, excuse me, a momentum builder. A program momentum builder for LSU here. They're number 11 PPA per rush, number three in rushing success rate. Josh Williams is going to be back for this one. Uh, I, I think with them, you know, number five in offensive success rate. You look at Purdue's defense, number 60 in defensive success rate, uh, there's a huge discrepancy there. I really like what LSU is going to do on offense here. Now, you, and they've got, obviously, average field position advantage is number 28 to uh, Purdue number 80. Like it's, There's a lot of hidden yards that you can come up with here. Points per scoring opportunity as well for LSU's offense, number 13, Purdue number 112. Uh, we move over to Purdue being on offense. Yeah, the LSU defensive numbers are not great, but if you look at who they've played, that's obviously a big part of it. And, and same can be said for Purdue, but you look at the talent differential, and that's certainly a, a big, big part of this. Purdue... Even with Aiden O'Connell in the game, number 89 PPA per pass, number 120 in passing success rate, even though they were, uh, what, over 55% throwing the football. Like, uh, their their passing rate is significantly higher. Uh, but it's not like they were better running the ball either. They were number 105 in PPA per rush, number 69 in rushing success rate. These LSU numbers, I mean, while they're not great, uh, you look at, Defense per drive, number 85 PPA per drive on defense, number 74 PPA per play on defense. At that Purdue offense, number 99 uh, PPA per drive, and number 106 PPA per play on offense. So even though LSU's defense has not been great, I mean, they gave up 50 to Georgia, I don't know that Purdue is going to be able to take advantage here because, one, you're without your quarterback. Two, you're without your offensive play caller. It's kind of an issue. So I, I look at this, I, I see one team that eh, doesn't really care if they win or lose this game, and another one I think that LSU is really going to care about this one. Uh, Brian Kelly does well in bowl games other than other than playoff games. Uh, I think that they're going to be pumped up for this one. They want to go out on a winning note because they lost their last two games. Big spot. Big, big spot here. Uh, I, I think the expectations are high for LSU. Give me the Tigers. Minus the 14 and a half. I will take LSU here. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.